Who would have thought we'd live in an age where we use expressions like Llama can identify images now? Meta just released Llama 3.2, which is an upgrade from 3.1. It comes in different sizes, 1B, 3B, 11B, and 90B, the latter of which has vision capabilities. I have links in the description for the 11B and 90B versions that both have vision capabilities, so you can either download them or run them online. I was originally planning out a video about the Pixtral vision model, but then this came out, and I don't know if I have time to make both videos considering all the other stuff I have planned. So what I'm going to do is compare the two in this video so we can see, running through the same tests on both, if the Llama vision or the Pixtral vision is better. Someone posted on X that Llama 3.2 can actually edit images. It looks like they're using the version that's maybe in WhatsApp. I can't entirely tell, but I tried it on the hosted version that I'm going to be doing for the test in this video, and that did not work. But it looks like somewhere around there, probably in WhatsApp, it has the capability. Llama 3.2 is available on Together.ai, and Pixtral is available on Chat.Mistral.ai. I've come up with eight different tests that are different from other videos about this. Start off with this picture of the motorcycle and see if you can identify that. All right, well, so far so good. The image depicts a motorcycle parked on the side of a road with the bike facing to the right. The motorcycle is black and silver, featuring distinctive design with a large fuel tank and a seat that slopes downwards. It looks like it's gotten some pretty good detail. It even says a single headlight positioned above the front wheel accompanied by a small windshield. That's, that's not bad. And just a quick side note, I tried to upload that image at 5,000 pixels and it didn't work. So I had to uh, reduce it to about 1,000 pixels in width and then it works. So it doesn't work with really big images. Now I'll see how Mistral does with the motorcycle picture. The image shows a sleek black motorcycle parked on the side of, the, of a paved road. The motorcycle appears to be a modern classic or retro styled bike, characterized by its smooth rounded lines and chrome accents. The bike features a prominent elongated fuel tank, the classic emblem on the side, likely indicating the brand. The seat is black with a diamond pattern stitching adding to the vintage aesthetic. The front fender is minimalistic and the bike has a single large headlight encased in a classic design. The exhaust pipes are chrome and the wheels have spoked design with disc brakes on both the front and rear. The road is surrounded by lush greenery suggesting a scenic, possibly rural or semi-rural setting. The overall scene conveys a sense of adventure and freedom associated with motorcycle riding. So far, both of these did pretty good with the motorcycle. Next, I want to see how it does with multiple objects. We have two people, a dog, and some sandwiches. Let's see how it does when there's a lot of stuff in the picture like that. The image shows a man and a woman sitting in a car with a dog. The man is wearing a red sweater and a tan jacket, and the woman is wearing a green jacket. They're both holding sandwiches wrapped in paper. Wow, I didn't even think about the paper. The dog is a white Labrador retriever. It even knows what what breed of dog it is. The background of the image is the interior of the car, which appears to be a hatchback or SUV. Now, I'm not sure about that. Let's double check. Oh yeah, they are in a car, but they're facing the other way and you can see the rear view mirror back here. Well, isn't that something? The overall atmosphere of the image suggests that the couple on, is on a road trip or outing with their dog and they are taking a break to eat some sandwiches. No kidding. Now let's see how Pixtral does with multiple objects. The image depicts a heartwarming scene involving a couple and their dog. The man, dressed in a beige coat and red sweater, is leaning forward with a gentle smile on his face. The woman, wearing a green jacket and a hat, is holding a sandwich in one hand and petting the dog with the other. The dog, a white Labrador retriever, this one also figured out the breed, is sitting between the couple and appears to be looking at the sandwich with interest. The background suggests they are in a vehicle, possibly a car or truck, as the interior of the vehicle is visible. The overall atmosphere of the image is warm and affectionate, capturing a moment of shared joy and companionship between the couple and their pet. This one is just about the same accuracy as Llama's analysis, but it didn't get the wrapper on the sandwiches, and I thought that was really clever that Llama got that. So far, I wanna say I'm impressed with both, but I've actually watched other videos about this where there were really terrible results with Llama. But so far, I'm getting good ones. Now let's see how both of them identify this cityscape. The image depicts a bustling city street with a mix of old and new buildings lining the road. The streets filled with various vehicles, including cars, buses, and motorcycles, as well as pedestrians walking along the sidewalks. In the background, several tall buildings can be seen, including what appears to be a skyscraper or a high-rise office building. Key feature is a busy city street with a mix of old and new buildings, various vehicles, including cars, buses, and motorcycles, pedestrians walking along the sidewalk, tall buildings in the background, including a skyscraper or high-rise office building. So it figured out that it's a busy city with cars and buildings. So that's accurate. Okay, let's see how Pixtral does with the same prompt. 
The image depicts a bustling urban street scene in a city, likely in the Southeast Asia, given the architectural style and signage. The street is filled with a variety of vehicles, including buses, cars, motorcycles, and taxis, indicating a busy traffic flow. Pedestrians are also visible on the sidewalks and crossing the street. The buildings lining the street are a mix of modern high-rise and older, more traditional structures. Notable features include large billboards and advertisements on the buildings, with one prominent billboard displaying an image of a city skyline. The signage on the building includes both English and another language, suggesting a multicultural or international business environment. The street is well-developed with multiple lanes, traffic lights, and overhead wires, possibly for public transportation or street lighting. There are also small trees planted along the sidewalk, adding a touch of greenery to the urban landscape. The overall atmosphere is vibrant and dynamic characteristic of a thriving city center. So both of them got this pretty right and even figured out what general region in the world the city is. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I mostly focus on the open source language models, but I really think that these vision models are pretty cool and I'm glad that some of them have come out. I kind of thought this year would be the year of open source multimodal, but it really hasn't been until now around Q3. We did a cityscape, now let's try a nature landscape, and there's a bridge there. Let's see if they notice. First Llama 3.2. The image depicts a serene and picturesque scene of a pond surrounded by lush greenery, vibrant flowers, and a bridge. The pond is the central focus of the image with its calm waters reflecting a surrounding environment. A small wooden bridge spans the pond, adding a sense of tranquility to the scene. In the foreground, a variety of plants and flowers are visible, including purple azaleas and other greenery. The background features trees and bushes, which add depth and texture to the image. The sky above is clear and blue, completing the peaceful atmosphere of the scene. Overall, the image presents a beautiful and idyllic setting, perfect for relaxation and contemplation. The combination of natural elements, such as water, plants, and sky, creates a sense of harmony and balance, making the image a delightful and calming visual experience. So it not only knew what was in the picture, it also captured the vibe. Now we'll see how Pixtral does with the same prompt. Hmm. The image depicts a serene and picturesque landscape. That's exactly what Llama 3.2 said. Featuring a well-maintained garden with vibrant flowers and lush greenery. In the foreground, there are clusters of bright purple flowers, adding a splash of color to the scene. The garden transitions into a grassy area that gently slopes down a tranquil pond or small lake. A charming wooden bridge with a metal railing spans the width of the pond, providing a pathway across the water. The bridge is surrounded by more colorful flowers, enhancing the beauty of the scene. On the far side of the pond, there's a continuation of the garden with more flowers and greenery, framed by tall trees that add depth and a sense of seclusion in the area. The sky above is clear and blue, indicating a bright sunny day. The overall atmosphere of the image is peaceful and inviting, making it an ideal spot for relaxation and enjoying nature. This one also captured the vibe in addition to describing what's in the image. They both even knew what kind of flowers were in the picture. Now I want to see how it does with a picture of a person smiling and if it recognizes the expression on the face. The image depicts a young woman standing in the middle of a city street with a blurred background that suggests a busy urban environment. The woman is positioned centrally in the frame, facing the camera directly. She has long dark hair and is wearing a gray sweater. Her facial expression is neutral and she appears to be looking straight at the viewer. In the background, there are several cars driving down the street as well as trees and buildings lining the sidewalk. The overall atmosphere of the image is one of urban activity with the woman standing out as the focal point amidst the hustle and bustle of city life. So it identified everything, but it did not figure out her facial expression. What if I ask it, what is the facial expression on the person? The person in the image appears to be smiling with a slight upturn of the corners of her mouth and a hint of sparkle in her eyes. Her facial expression is relaxed and friendly, suggesting that she is feeling happy and content. Okay. Now pictural. Okay, so Pixel picked up on the fact that she's smiling without being prompted to do so. It also figured out that she's dressed in a casual, light-colored sweater. The background shows a busy urban environment, and there's a road and cars. The lady suggests it might be late afternoon or early evening. That's interesting. It picked up the possible time of day. The overall atmosphere of the image is cheerful and vibrant, capturing a moment of happiness in a bustling city setting. So it's not bad. Let's see how these models do with identifying someone's eating and if you can recognize what the person is eating. The image shows a young woman sitting at a table in a cafe or restaurant enjoying a pastry and a cup of tea. She's wearing a red dress with a black trim and has long brown hair. So yeah, I recognize that she's eating and it knows she's eating a pastry. Let's see how Pixtral handles this one. It says the same thing. It recognizes she's in a cafe or restaurant and that she's eating a pastry. It doesn't necessarily say that it's a croissant though. Let's go back and ask both of them if we can recognize what she's eating. The pastry she's eating appears to be a croissant. What type of pastry is she eating? The pastry the woman is eating appears to be a croissant. Okay, it knows. 
Now I'm going to test for occlusion. This one could be a little more challenging for the models because it's a person's face hidden behind looks like a piece of tree bark. So let's see if it can identify what's going on here. All right, Llama 3.2, let's see what you got. Wow. The image depicts a woman's face with only her eyes and forehead visible as the rest of her face is obscured by a tree trunk. No kidding. Let's see how Mistral handles this one. The image is a close-up of a person's face, primarily focusing on one eye. The person has light-colored hair and fair skin. The eye is striking blue color, and the person appears to be looking directly at the camera. The background is blurred, but it seems to consist of natural elements, possibly foliage or tree bark. It said possible foliage or tree bark in the background, but really it's tree bark in the foreground even though this has been a pretty close match i have to say llama 3.2 won this round let's text it for ocr text recognition now i think these models should be good at ocr because it's been around since the 90s so i think this type of thing should be easy for these models okay llama 3.2 knows that it says make this day great got it right it even knows that the letters are arranged in different rows and are different colors including pink green orange and purple okay good how does pixel do the image features a light box, so it knows that the letters are in a light box. That's good. Displaying the motivational message, make this day great. The light box is illuminated with each letter of the phrase placed in individual compartments, creating a visually appealing and colorful display. It didn't necessarily pick out the specific colors, but it did notice the light box. I don't know. That was a pretty close race. What do you think? Let me know in the comments which one you think is superior and why. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you found value in this, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing this on a regular basis. This is what I do. I test AI language models and now vision models too. So if you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.